Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. It is January 14, 2018, 1.52 a.m. And topic is, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Now, what does that mean? It means... There will be beings here, but worse than it was in the days of Noah. Now, after Noah came across on the ark, it was one of his son's wives that brought with her. She had already been tainted or infected with the DNA of the watcher angels, their offspring. And that's how it got to the side. Now, God forbid when he took those 200, there are, there are far more than 200, but he took those 200 and put them in places so that it would never happen again. And it has not ever happened again. But the things they taught the Nephilim to man about how to mix DNA of man and of animals and of plants and of fish and of birds They're doing that today. They have underground, when I say underground, it's hidden. A lot of it's underground, perhaps most of it, but a lot of it's not, but it's hidden. They have assembly lines trying to create beings. And I have no doubt that there are those that walk among us every day that aren't fully human that have tainted DNA in the same manner that they're I don't know how many times they tried it I'm sure they've tried it time and time again but Nimrod many believes he is the one that will return is the Antichrist In Nimrod's day, he was changing into a gibberim. But keep in mind, he was not Satan. Satan didn't fall with that 200 and come down and mate with the daughters of men. He didn't do that. He had his own agenda that he was trying to stop God's word. He was trying to stop this world from moving forward. He was trying to stop Jesus from being born in the future. That far back. So when the Israelites, the Jews, way back in the day, and let me find the verse here. Um, 1 Samuel 15, 3. When God told the Jews, now you go and you completely destroy the entire Amalekite nation, the men, the women, the children, the babies, the cattle, the sheep, the goats, the camels, the donkeys. Keep in mind, listen to this. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I will punish Amalek for what he did to Israel, how he set himself against him on the way while he was becoming or coming up from Egypt. Now go and strike Amalek and utterly, utterly destroy all that he has and do not spare him. 
but put to death both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. Then Saul summoned the people, and the number of them were 200,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 men of Judah. Now, why did God order that? And this is where people jump on God. Why did he do this? Why did he order the death of children and babies? Well, it was simple. They did not have full human DNA in them. Not any of them. Not even their animals. Back then, when one of Noah's daughter-in-laws came through, it was her line that created these things. They're still tainted. You don't grow out of one that has the DNA of a fallen Nephilim angel. You don't ever get out of that. Even if you have 0.0001%, you have too much. You're not fully human. So he had to do that. And he did it more than one time. Let me tell you about one time when the Jews went in to started and started destroying this entire town and the number is not known but apparently there was a lot of people as they were going through killing as God had ordered there were many who kept falling on their knees before the Jews and begging please don't kill us Please don't wipe us out. We will do anything for you. We will work for you. We will be your slaves. We will do everything that you want. The Jews had mercy. And they did not kill all of those in one of those tribes. But guess what happened? Let me see if I can find it. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I will punish Amalek for what he did to Israel because he's tainted. He's got DNA of the watcher angels or the Nephilim. How he set himself against on the way while he was coming up from Egypt. Now, what happened, guys? Tell me what happened when the Jews had mercy and did not destroy them all. The answer, the Jews ended up being the slaves of those they didn't kill because the numbers of them grew rapidly and their hatred for the Jews grew as well. They grew in numbers again that had tainted DNA, and there were many, and they took the Jews captive, all of them. There it is, right there in Egypt, as they were coming up from Egypt. So, today, I see where Update BJF, Birmingham Jewish Federation Update Magazine, had an article that was talking about condemning Trump. Not condemning, but talking about what they said and what these people said, but they were putting together. Why would Trump completely stop bringing people in or letting people come in illegally until things are worked out. Why would he completely stop those who need us? Well, it's simple. 
because if you just let them through, some of those that come through will kill you. Some of those that come through will be terrorists. The Jews, guys, believe it or not, of all peoples, they have the kindest heart of all. Look at them. They go over and feed the Palestinians. They go over and feed the Syrian refugees, but they have put them have to put the food in unlabeled boxes because if he has Israel on it, they won't accept the food. So Israel still helps them. They have thousands and tens of thousands of refugees. They have that kind heart in them. So they think Trump should do the same thing. But we know what happens when they slip through. We start getting hurt. We start getting, look, there's been more crimes committed in the state of Texas alone in a four-year period than they were in the entire, entire history of Texas. And every single one of them, or 95.6%, were Hispanics, illegals that did the crimes. And all those that died were from illegals. Farmers that had giant farms along the Texas-Mexican border the illegals ran them off of their farms, even killed family members that wouldn't leave. This is what happened to the Jews. Jews had mercy, but they had mercy on the wrong people because those people later took the Jews and made them slaves. There's got to be a point where you say it's got to end, it's got to end now, or we're going to be in major trouble down the road. That's what Trump is trying to do. But the Jews with their kind heart, they can't see that, as they couldn't see it back in the days when God told them to wipe them all out. Don't leave any, but they did. They kept, come on, I'll take you as a refugee. And it hurt them. Jody Wolf exposed.